We are student-assisted medical and dental applications. A society at Barton the London School of Medicine and Dentistry. But you can call us Sander. As a society, we are dedicated to support schools, colleges and sixth form students in their first step towards a career in medicine or dentistry. We conduct school visits to give you that personal guidance, clinicians evenings with prestige alumni and professionals, skills days to equip you with all the skills to ace the application, mock interviews with students and clinicians to give you that first-hand experience and get you ahead of the game. A buddy scheme so that we at Samda can support you every single step of the way. Weekly tips on our social media to give you some bite-sized and concise wisdom and advice. If that's not all, our extensive Samda medicine and dentistry guide and much, much more. Check out our social media and stay up to date. We are only a click away. Shall we? Hello. Hello. Okay, shall we start then? Ready? Yeah. Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to those of you who were here for the uh, first Friday Dental Clinic. And welcome to those who are here for the first time. Today we have a second Friday Dental Clinic, which is going to be on structures of the oral cavity. Mm -hmm. So before we begin, uh, we're going to go through some safeguarding stuff and a bit about SAMDA. By the way, introduction yes my introduction name, we forgot that my name is Manor and I am a fourth year dental student at Bart's and I'm also a Sanders dental rep and with me is hi um, I'm Garten I'm also a fourth year dental student at Bart's and I'm also a dental committee at, uh, at Samda <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay should we move yeah, on let's go. So we're going to go through the structures of the oral cavity today. Um, and so who are we? Um, so we are a student-run um, society based at the Barts in the London, Queen Mary School of Medicine and Dentistry. So our society is dedicated to supporting um, sixth formers in local state school as they take the first step towards a career in uh, medicine and dentistry. And due to safeguarding and uh, reporting concerns, we have turned the YouTube comments off. But um, you guys are real, you guys are more than welcome to interact with us via the Instagram story. And if you have any questions, you can ask us those as well at Bart's underscore Samda. If after this or during this, if you also have any concerns, you can email us at Samda at Bartslondon.com with you and just make sure you CC your teachers in. Uh, all your information will be kept confidential. Yeah. So to begin. <laughs> <laughs> with the okay. exciting stuff. So today we'll be covering um, a bit on a, a bit on extraoral anatomy. So this will be features are outside the mouth, like your lips. And then we'll also be looking at intraoral anatomy structures, which will be features inside the mouth, such as your gums and your tongue. And then at the end, we've got an exciting quiz waiting for you guys. And we're going to see how much you guys have learned. But actually, no pressure. This is just to like give you guys some extra knowledge. And you guys don't actually need to know this for uni. So enjoy it. And last but not least, um, get your mirrors ready. Get any, uh, you know, maybe sit in front of the mirror and just while we go through this, you know, point the features out to your own self and you'll be able to learn something new about yourself today, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, uh, we are going to start with the extra oral anatomy, uh, which is basically the features outside the mouth. Um, and then we are actually going to briefly going to go into like how we examine these features. So first of all, uh, when we uh, first screen, um, so examine the patient, we start extra orally and we look at the extra oral features first. So we start with the patient's facial symmetry, um, check if there are any deformities. And then after that, we move on to TMJ, which stands for temporomandibular joint. And then we also check for the mouth opening. Um, we're just going to go a little bit into this points. 
now. Uh, so we start with the checking uh, with the fa uh, patient's facial symmetry um, by looking at the patient um, uh, from face on. So you stand in front of the patient and then you look at them face to face and also from side to side and above like an like a bird's eye view kind of kind of ish vibe so to detect any like deformities and or swellings so some oral diseases or infection um that some can like they can spread into facial spaces um and then will deform like normal anatomy of the face so by checking the facial symmetry we can really spot these any infections or swellings so this gentleman here uh, underneath the facial symmetry, you can see how the right right hand side of the patient um, is a little bit bigger and a little bit abnormal um, compared to his left side. So this is we can really see how there is a bit of a swelling on um, his right side. So we do that by checking the facial symmetry. Um, next one is TMJ and mouth opening. So TMJ basically stands for um, temporomandibular joint. Um, these are the two joints that connect your lower jaw um, to your skull. So they are the joints that slide and rotate that, um, in front of each ear. So you can actually palpate it yourself right in front of the ear. You just put it here and then um, so what we do is we examine these joints um, by standing behind the patient and putting a gentle pressure over the area of the patient and then we ask them to open and close their mouth. Um, and then we check if this if it's tender in air in any area, um, uh, whether any whether there are any like noise coming from the joints. Um, you can actually test it for yourself. Like put it over your TMJ area, and then like if you open and close, you it, you can feel it moving. Um, so try so, it this way, isn't it? There, and just open the mouth and close, and you'll feel it move. Yeah, you can. <laughs> um, and then basically joint dysfunction. So if there's something wrong with the joint, um, it can actually result in limited uh, mouth opening, which basically means that the patient um, has a difficulty in opening the mouth. So normal opening is around 35 millimeters to uh, 50 millimeters. Um, I think it's around like three fingers tall. So if you hold your finger like this, um, if you can fit your three fingers in the patient's mouth, then that's like normal opening. If it doesn't, then it's there's something wrong with the mouth opening. So so anything wrong. less than three centimeters is like not opening. It's restrictive of opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you should note yeah. that down as well if it happens. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so um, Garn just spoke uh, just spoke about facial symmetry. So that was the first step. And then after that, we examined the TMJ. We examined the mouth opening and closing. And now I'm going to talk about lymph nodes and the lips. So to talk about lymph nodes, can do you guys know what lymph nodes are? Um, Garn, has the slide changed? Yes. I thought you were waiting for the response, but that was okay, that I was just, not yeah. possible here. <laughs> Sorry. I was just waiting for the price to change. Okay, lovely. So lymphocytes <laughs> are basically, if, in simple terms, it's basically part of your immune system. They have lymphocytes, which are, for example, your white blood cells, and it just helps you fight off disease and infections. Um, so the examination for lymph nodes. So if I was, if you think of it, it's like you're walking your fingers. Like, okay, how do you do it? You just basically walk your fingers from under the chin, up along, all the way up to the air, and then all the way behind it coming down the neck and then to the shoulders that's mm -hmm. the examination you do and you're feeling for any like any pain you know any areas where there's pain or swelling or anything or looking for uh, any lumps or anything that's a bit odd or abnormal and you want to report that and put it down um, on the right side I've got an example of the area I just followed along the picture on the right just shows you all the different um, locations of the lymph nodes and underneath is a list of the lymph nodes we're kind of looking for so I'll let you guys read that Is it okay if I just add something in? Of course. So, so in a healthy, like a healthy patient, um, the lymph nodes should not be palpated. Yeah. So it's only when there is something wrong, um, it sh it would you could you could feel it. Does that make sense? Which is why it's abnormal, and you want to look out for it and then record mm -hmm. it. So yeah. Lovely. Okay. 
Next one. So now moving on to the lips. So there are three. Do you want to bring the labels up as well, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. So there's, we're just going to look at three areas. Uh, the corners of your lips are called labial commissure. Mm -hmm. uh, this little, like a little dip in between your lip is called a philtrum. And the lining of your lips, the outer lining of it is called the vermilion border. So uh, we're now on to the most fun part of the talk. Um, so intraoral anatomy. So we will just briefly um, explore the features inside the mouth. Um, as Manor said before, you could actually bring a mirror and uh, follow us while we talk about um, all these anatomies. So it'll be quite fun. Or you can just like use your tongue to kind of run through it. It will look funny, but it should be okay. <laughs> okay, so intraoral. So these are the um, labels. So the soft tissue that is atta um, attached on the gum of between the incisors um, that attaches to the lip is called a uh, labial frenum. Um, labial because it's attached to the lip. Um, something similar, so something, um, so, so also a soft tissue that is kind of similar to that, but which attaches to the cheek of the mouth bit further is called a buccal frenum. So this one is buccal frenum and the one that's attached to the lip is labial. Um, and that's why it's called labial freedom. Um, oh, so can I add something in? Bef yes. Sorry. So if you guys were here for the first session, you'd mm -hmm. remember the words labial and buckle. So buckle always is facing the cheek and labial faces the lip. So it's an attachment that faces the lip and to the lip. And the buckle one is attachment towards the backside, which faces the the cheeks and is attached to the cheek so yeah. think of it like that and freedom just means attachment yeah basically um so yeah do, do if you haven't um checked our first dental clinic you should really watch it it's quite it's kind of fun <laughs> it was really informative <laughs> but anyway yeah that as well and then on top of your canine there is a little like a bony hard part um and that is called a canine eminence you can check that out on you should have it you know in your mouth <laughs> and even if you just like uh you know find jones uh, canines and literally just drag your finger across up to the gum you'll literally feel like a big bump like mm -hmm. a prominent yeah. part of the bone and that's your canine eminence yeah yeah so in terms of your gums uh, we call it gingiva in dental terms so there's three types of gingivas if you look at it the first one i'll talk about is called a gingival margin so that's at the like the closest to the tooth it's the margin of the tooth, basically. The other type is attached gingiva. So if you just got above your tooth where your bone is, the the, the gum part of the the pink part of the gum that you can't actually pull pull up pull out or like even like you know do anything to is called the attached gingiva because it's attached. Mm -hmm. And then the free gingiva is literally the gingiva that's between your two your two teeth. So like between my two fingers, and I'm acting like my two um, hands. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm acting like my two hands are like teeth. So like that gingiva in between would be free gingiva that like you can, can like touch. And like, you know, for example, if you'd like a TB brush or a toothpick or anything, that part of the gum that moves is the free gingiva. <laughs> That's basically it, yeah. So moving on to maxilla. Uh, maxilla is just a term we use to describe a upper jaw. So if you see this image here, um, this is actually the upper jaw, um, a photograph taken from below facing upwards, if that makes sense. Um, so, let's flip the labels. Uh, so the soft tissue right behind the inci central incisors, so the top one here, this one is called incisive papilla. And then a little bit further back, if you have these like irregular bumpy areas. Um, those are called plato rugae. And going further back, um, if you actually pull like, touch it with your tongue you can feel how it's a bit hard um, that's why it's called a hard palate <laughs> and if you stretch a bit more into the back of your mouth you it the hard palate becomes soft and that is the soft and then we call this um, a soft palate because it's soft yeah if you even just now drag your tongue from the front you know from your teeth to the back of your mouth if you can you literally <laughs> feel it going softer and then yeah, yeah. that's what you know like it's you've gone from the heart to the soft palate i just did that so that's how yeah, I, I, I keep doing this so. <laughs> like, like 
<laughs> anyway, um, mandible. Okay, so mandible, you're looking at the lower part. Okay, so looking at the, the the part that moves. So if you look at attachments, now this picture looks a bit weird. So let me explain to you what's actually happening. This person has lift, lifted their tongue up. So the tongue's actually okay. up. And what you're looking at is the floor of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, so the little duct or like the round ball of like uh, tissue that you can see is actually a duct, a, a salivary duct, where which produces saliva. And the name of this particular duct is a sublingual because it sub means under. Lingual, as you guys know, refers to the tongue. So it's under the tongue, the duct that's under the tongue. And then the lingual frenum, now you guys should know this by now, frenum means attachment. Lingual, as you guys know, is a tongue. So it's, it's literally the attachment that attaches the duct to the tongue. Okay? Good to go. <laughs> Good to go. Yeah, and then moving on to tongue. Uh, so there are different types of papillas um, found on the tongue. We're just going to go through the three main types of it. Um, so filiform um, papillas are like thin, uh, wide-shaped um, papillas that does not contain um, taste buds. So these are this is the most common type on the tongue, but they don't actually contain the taste buds. Um, the one on the left, so a fungiform pap pap papilla, um, they, you can't really see it clearly on the image, but they actually look a little bit different. Um, fun fungiform papillas are more mushroom shaped um, and they also contain taste buds as well. And if you go a bit further back, um, you have a circumvallate papilla, which is basically a buds um, that also has taste buds um, and located in the posterior third of the tongue. So like back of the tongue um, in the shape of a V, but like V, like upside down V, I guess. So yeah, so these are the papillas. Um, and then we're just gonna go through how we examine these. So, um, okay, so just to summarize what Garton has just gone through, which is the intraoral examination. So the soft tissue refers to your gum, your tongue, uh, and all the soft areas like your cheek as well. So to inspect all of that, you're also looking at your, yeah, so all of the surfaces. And then what you really want to look for is anything that's abnormal, anything which, anything like red patches or white patches, is it symmetrical? Is it bleeding? Is it inflamed? Is it is it painful? Is it tender? So these are the things you want to look for when you examine around the mouth. Look for any color changes, any shape changes, any texture changes. And in terms of your heart tissue, heart, the heart tissue in your mouth is your teeth. And this it actually refers to our first session again, our clinical uh, Fridays for heart tissue charting, which was actually how you chart teeth and why you do them. So if you guys want to also go back and look at that, it will be really useful. But in, in for that heart tissue uh, inspecting, what you're looking at is like all the teeth present and you want to see like what's the work that's already been done on the tooth. Like is there any restorations? Has there been any recent extractions? Uh, is there anything going on? Is the tooth rotated? Anything? And then for the work that needs to be done, then you also put that down. It needs a restoration or it needs extraction, for example. Yeah. Now, uh, quiz time. So all the knowledge for today's clinical session and <laughs> now we've got a fun quiz for you guys again no pressure enjoy it just try and see what you get right and what you don't at the end of the day it's all about you know you guys coming here today and just seeing how you find dentistry and how you're enjoying this experience so if i i would like you all to just go to um kahoot and just type in the code and i'll give you guys about four to five minutes to do it so like everyone can join and then we'll start the quiz yeah. Should I stop sharing so that you can screen the code? Yeah, let's okay. just please let's do that. So share screen. Shape and okay. Can you see this? Yeah. Okay. I guess if you can then everyone can. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that's the game pin um six six five 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 four nine. So everyone join. Come go. along guys. Give yourself anything you feel like. <laughs> so it's a bit more anonymous, but I'd love to see you all join in with us. 
Yay, future dentist. Crikey, Nika. <laughs> Hello. H. Hello, H. <laughs> Let's get more people to join. Yeah, and then we'll just wait for a bit and then we'll get going, I guess. Come on, guys. It's going to be a fun one, I tell you. <laughs> Yay, hello. Hello. I think we'll just give about three more minutes and give everyone the chance to join. Maybe someone's just finding it hard to like log in or just put the pen in. Dentistry 2020, yeah? I love this. I love your names, guys. Our future yeah. dentist. 2022, that's so... Yeah, ah. We've still got two minutes, though. Uh-huh. So we'll start in two minutes, guys. Always love to play Kahoot in my high school. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. One time I actually used one of my friend's name as a nickname and I would get all the answers wrong. <laughs> and then everyone's like, why are you getting everyone, everything wrong to my friend? Uh, <laughs> been... That's cheeky, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just go on a minute at the start. Yay, I've got one more. <laughs> oh, someone left. You can join again if you got disconnected. The, the game pin's still there. Uh -huh. Three. Yeah, we'll start then i think you'll be able to join even if it's running so guys if you want to yeah. join it just feel free to continue joining in so i'm going to start the quiz now good luck to everyone and enjoy it so <laughs> i'm gonna just be reading out for you guys in case you guys can't see the screen but it should be fine so question number one what are lymph nodes a is a part of the body's immune system they and they contain all type of blood cells b is a part of body's immune system and they contain red cells Red blood cells, C, is a part of body's immune system and they contain white blood cells, or D, I don't know. Yeah, we've got three answers, lovely. Let's get the rest to answer as well. Five, five answers, six, and then one more. Lovely. Well done, guys. Wow. They don't contain all type of blood cells. It's white blood cells, okay? Next one. Yeah. Who's at the top? Uh... Whoa, well done. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next question, guys. Mm -hmm. So what are these three labels? Okay, so this is the lip. You're looking at the three labels we've been through. So have a read and pick whichever one seems the right one. Four seconds, guys. Pick an answer. It's pretty tricky, to be honest. It is. But uh -huh. it was the blue one. It's vermilion border 
thought trim and leave your commissions, okay? Well done. Someone's at the top. <laughs> okay, so question number three, what is the arrow pointing at? Where is the arrow? Oh, oh, it's like right bang in the middle. Yeah, it's in the middle. <laughs> bang in the middle. Okay, we've got two answers. 13 seconds left. Three answers. Four, five, six. And last one, seven. Lovely. It's actually wow. it's eminence because that would be on top of the canine. Yeah. So right, right in the middle and it's facing the lips and it's an attachment. So it's the labial freedom, okay? Whoa, we've got some change in the scoreboard. So next question, guys. Don't worry. I think we've got like seven more. So is this the soft palette? Is the answer yes or no? True or false? That's such a tiny photo. Yes, but um, it's okay. I can't zoom in, so I hope you guys can see it somehow. <laughs> I think the time you've got 50, well, twelve seconds left. I think it's pointing at near the teeth. We, I don't we, know if that's okay. Help. We're not allowed to say anything, Cotton. No hints, no nothing. Yeah, it's very, it's very small. I mean, they got so. it, so you know it's fine. <laughs> they got it. Well done, guys. Um, oh, XD is at the top. So next question number five: What is label B referring to? A is it the soft palate? B is it the um, palatal rugae? Is it a C is it incisive papilla or D is a palatal suture? Ignore all the labels. I know it might look a bit confusing. Just focus on B and focus on what it's pointing to. That's it. Yeah. Four seconds. Lovely. I've got everyone's on today. So let's see. Ah, oh, yes. Ooh. It's not the incisive of Papilla because that's right, right, right next to the tooth in the right, middle. Yeah, behind the tooth. Behind, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can understand why you might have put that down because it's quite close to the uh, palatal mm. root. Wow, it's changing a lot. <laughs> but it's just like, the speed of people answering. Well done, guys. You guys are doing actually like really good. Okay, question number six. So four left. What is label A? So these are your. What do you call them again? <laughs> On the tongue, the words got out of my mind. Um, the, your taste buds. Your different taste buds. The papillas, yeah. Papillas. There we go. Yeah. So I so, think. The yeah. first, the first one's, the top one's A, right? Is that? Yeah, is that's the one they're looking at? Oh yeah, so, so yeah. It's bumpy, the... it's at the back, it's round. So what do you guys think it is? Yeah, perfect. Ooh. It's close, or green is close, but it's actually circumvalid. And uh, filiform, they're right at the front. They're usually distributed closer to like the, you know, the outer one third of the tongue, I'd say, or two third. Okay, so ah, oh, X just still at the top. <laughs> okay, love. Wow, answer oh, three of five. That's actually really impressive. So three questions left. What does TMJ stand for? Is it a temporal mandibular joint? Is it temporalis mandibular joint? Is it teeth meeting joint, or is it temporal mandibular joint? We got really creative with making up these options. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mean. It was a smart one, though. I, it was really good. I really liked it. I made it. I made it. <laughs> yeah, I got a question. She did a good job. Hey, we have more people joining in. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because we had nine answers. Lovely. So, yeah, well done, guys. It's the, the thing is, it's not green because it's temporal, not temple, but it is actually near the temple. So, I see why you guys might have put that down. And again, it's just the wording, I think. <laughs> but it's yeah. temporal. We can't, we can't, it was a tricky question. <laughs> yeah. H has come up and XT is still at the top. 
Okay, guys, two, wait, one, two, three questions left. <laughs> what is the first thing we check for when examining the patient's extra oral features? So the first external thing we examine, is it, your, is it the lips? Is it the lim, lim, uh, lymph nodes? Is it the facial symmetry or is it the TMJ? So think of the diagram that we put up at the beginning. What was the first step? Four seconds left. left. Lovely. All nine answers. It is the facial symmetry. And then, yeah. so if you guys remember, it was the facial symmetry, then we had the TMJ, then we had the lymph nodes, and then we had the lip. Mm. Oh, got two more people coming up. The scoreboard. Ooh. So, two, last two questions. Best of luck, everyone. So what do we check? For during a hard tissue examination, do we check for the gingiva, the palate, the teeth, or the floor of the mouth? 20 seconds left. I mean, the question itself is giving away its answer. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't talk about that though. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. So we've got two blue ones, the palette. Uh, so the only hard to uh, on the map is actually your teeth. Everything else, including the palette, is soft. The reason why you guys might have confused that with hard tissue is because there's hard palette, can be, yeah, palette can be divided into soft and hard. Um, it's still, yeah, it's, per, it's still, it still part of the soft tissue. tissue. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... The next and the oh H is at the top. Oh, this is intense. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so last question. Good luck to everyone. In a fit and well patient, can you palpate the lymph nodes? So go and give you guys the answer for this. Do you guys remember it? I'm so excited to see the scoreboard. <laughs> okay, just waiting for three more people to answer the answer, and then we are good to finish the quiz. Okay, and one more person. Lovely. Oh, oh, okay. Just a reminder: lymph nodes are they're part of your immune system, and they usually help you fight in any infections or diseases. And when there is an infection or disease, your lymph nodes tend to be a bit more tender or a bit more swollen. You can feel them as well, you can palpate them. But in a normal fit patient, you actually generally and typically cannot palpate them. You cannot feel them. So the answer for this is actually false. Yeah. So scoreboard. We have in the first place, oh, third place, Dentistry 2022. Well done. Second Congrats. place, and first place, uh, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, it's wow. but it's crack unique. <laughs> sorry, um, Crassy, you know, I have no clue. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, what is the C? C's at the top. Well yeah. done, guys. Wow. Okay, so we are done with the quiz now. And um, I'm going to so hand much. over to Garten so she can put the slides back up. Yep. Give me a second. I hope you guys found that useful and fun to do. Okay. I am Loki struggling. <laughs> oh, wait, is it already up? Yeah, it's perfect. I can see thank you for listening. And thank you for listening, guys. Okay. Yeah, I Go think mother's going to screen to be good to go. Feedback slide. So yeah, guys, thank you for listening. We really do I hope you guys enjoyed the presentation, you guys enjoyed the quiz, and you guys are welcome to ask us any questions in the future, or even now you can DM us on Instagram or just email us. All the details are on this final slide. Uh, Garten is just going to go through uh, on through this slide and talk about feedback and we look forward to getting feedback from you guys so we can improve these sessions.
So yeah, you can actually just scan the QR code with your phone or enter the link, the website link uh, below it um, to give us a little short feedback. It's going to take you less than a minute. So it'll be really amazing if you can, if you can um, give us a little feedback on how we did. Um, you can, it's anonymous, so you can be as honest as you like. We would really appreciate it and it will help us to make up better presentations like this and um, future events as well. Um, and it also closes at 10 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, so please finish it before 10 p.m. That'll be great. Or even just do it now. Just get out your phones, guys. Good <laughs> and doing less than yeah. no, no pressure. New no pressure, but no do it pressure. now. But do it now. we really hope <laughs> you guys really enjoyed it today and we look forward to seeing you uh, in our Friday. next key Friday clinic clinic sessions for dentistry we might also have something exciting to announce on our instagram soon or even in the next friday clinic session so keep your eyes and ears uh, out and open and maybe mm -hmm. you can take part in this uh, but we are yet to release any dates and any details and it's set to be confirmed actually itself so yeah see you guys soon have a lovely evening and take care bye all love from time <laughs> <laughs> bye